Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a two-strip look inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've been trying to figure out how to get this look for a long time now, doing lots of complicated things with splitter, combiner nodes, and selections, and hue versus hue controls, but then I remembered Photoshop has a LUT for that already. But its native .look format won't work in DaVinci Resolve, so we've got to convert it first. A handy tool I found to do that is completely free. It's made by Red Giant and it is called LUT Buddy. And in order to get that, you just download the trial of the color suite and just click, unclick everything that you want except for LUT Buddy, and it'll install it right like that. It's completely free. It's really hard to find because like you expect to pay like six hundred dollars for this thing. If you already have the color suite, then you know, great, you've already got it. If you don't, it's free. So everyone wins, I guess. So once you've got that installed. You'll just open up After Effects and create a new composition. The settings of this composition don't really matter at all. Create a new solid, make it comp size. This is very important that all of your layers you're going to be using are the same size or else stuff just gets really screwed up. Then you're going to go to your Effects and Presets panel or you can go up to this thing up here. But it's way easier to just type in LUT and you've got LUT Buddy right here going to have this draw pattern. Let's do this 3D64. Then we're going to create a new adjustment layer with Control Alt Y. And we'll go over here and select Apply Color LUT. And here I've got all my Photoshop LUTs in a folder. If you don't know where your Photoshop LUTs are stored, you just go to, on Windows at least, your boot drive, your program files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, CC, Presets, 3D LUTs, and there they all are. So this is your file path right here. I don't know where they are on Macs, but you can look it up on the Google. If you don't know how to do that, tell me in the comments and I'll make you tutorial. So great. Now you've got your, your two strip look applied and you can see what it does here. It makes everything really neat looking. So the next step is to create another adjustment layer and go and apply LUT Buddy to that one. Change this to Read Pattern. And make sure that it is 3D64 again. And then click on Options, Export LUT. And I'll just navigate to my desktop here to make stuff easy. And we'll call this Two Strip. Oh, one, Two Strip Tut. Save. Done. We can just minimize this, get this out of our way, open up Resolve real quick, and in Resolve, just open up a project. I've got one started here. If you don't know how to get into Resolve, first of all, you probably shouldn't be using LUTs. Second of all, I've got a tutorial on how to get started in DaVinci Resolve, and I will link that with an annotation on the screen and a link in the description. Go over to your color window, then go to File, Project Settings, navigate to Lookup Tables, you see you've got all this really confusing looking stuff with all these numbers and Ds that says lookup tables. You don't have to worry about any of this with this workflow. You're just going to click on open LUT folder. And this LUT folder has all of the LUTs that DaVinci Resolve uses. Next, you just navigate to where you saved your LUT from After Effects. And just click and drag that in there. If you don't know how to click and drag, I have a tutorial on my old channel about that, which I will link right here and put a link in the description. So now you've got that, you can just close out that window or minimize it or do whatever, hit update list, then hit apply. And then oddly enough, hit cancel to get out of there. It'll, it'll save it. It's fine. Then hit alt S in here to create a new node. You could do it in your original node, but I've got stuff applied to that one. I don't want to deal with it. So in your new node, right click, go to 3D LUT, LUT, and then select the LUT that you exported. Whoa. And boom, there it is. So you can, you know, increase the saturation and do whatever you want to do to make it pop more. But this is undeniably, like, if not the same look, a extremely similar look to that one that is done in Aviator with basically no effort at all. And anytime you want to use it after this, you just have to right click, go to 3D LUT, two strip, boom, done. Everyone's impressed because it looks super cool. So once again, I've been Theo from Eastern Media. If you like this tutorial, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. 
If you think someone would benefit from this knowledge, be sure to share the video on your various social platforms. If you want to follow me on my various social platforms, there will be links in the description. Be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel if you want to see more content like this. I'll put an annotation up on the screen right now to make that super easy for you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, extra tips, be sure to leave those in the comments. I love reading the comments and seeing what people have to say and what their tips are. So without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.